Welcome to Moby Gym on the campus of Colorado State University. You're watching coverage of the 3A State Tournament Girls Basketball here on Chansa TV, presented in part by Play On Sports. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got four down, four more to go this evening here at Moby already. Some exciting times in both boys and girls basketball. In the boys bracket, Faith Christian, Holy Family already through. In the girls bracket, which is significant, considering we're having a girls game coming up in just a few moments, Faith Christian and Trinidad all the way through. Trinidad moves to 25 and 0. They will take on Faith Christian. This game you're about to watch includes a two and seven seed, the two seed within the bracket in class 3A, Bishop Matchbuff, the Buffaloes under coach Ellie Kempf. 23 and one on the season, Metro League regular season champions, 11 and 0 within their division during the regular season, going through their starting lineup as the players are being announced by the public address announcer right now. Number three, Diana Montoya, a senior guard at 5'7". Number five, Kristen Grandin, a sophomore standing 5'7", also playing guard. Lucy Rogers will wear number 23 for Bishop Matchbuff. She's a junior, playing the point, pivot position, five feet, 10 inches, strong rebounder. Asia May, number 24, a junior standing 5'8". And then at six foot, one inch, the senior Rebecca Howell wearing number 52, averaging 15 points and 10 rebounds a game to help lead those Bishop Matchbuff Buffaloes who will be wearing the white jerseys, white shorts trimmed with green and gold. Certainly fitting considering our location. For the seven seed, Denver School of Science and Technology, the Knights under coach CC Brame. 23 and one on the season, 11 and 0 within their league. Frontier League champions, just one loss this year that only lost to these Bishop Matchbuff Buffaloes. That was on December 8th at Stapleton. One player missing, one of their best, Bailey Cotton, will go through the starting lineup for the Knights. Number three, London Holland, a freshman guard at 5'6". She's a three-point artist. Number 11, Jalen Smith is also a freshman, standing 5'7". Sierra Lewis, number 13, a junior at 5'10". And then the sisters, Bailey Cotton, number 23, a sophomore at 6'1", averaging 15 points and 10 rebounds a game, and wearing number 50, Bradley Cotton, the junior, six feet, 14 points, nine rebounds a game. I'm Marty Cesario, alongside Ashton Dilka, TJ Almer, Brian Almer, helping out with technical production. Logan Boardman will help out with stats. We're ready to go for another game. This would be number five here at Moby Arena, the Class 3A State Tournament here on Chassa TV. Those are the Knights wearing the black jerseys trimmed with white and red DSST on the backs, starting with possession. They're getting up top and then down low immediately to Bradley Cotton, a foul called. So to start off the game, we're gonna have a young lady get a couple of shots at the free throw line. Again, that will be Bradley Cotton. I had mentioned statistically, strong this season, 14 points, nine rebounds a game. She sinks the first, and the Knights are on the board. Radley's release, pretty, true. Two nothing lead early on for DSST. The Knights, as the Buffaloes bring the ball up the court, Diana Montoya running the point early on. Player to player, matchup defense for DSST. Shot from the baseline, that's good from Rebecca Howe. Leading score for the Buffaloes. Early on it's 2-2 as DSST drives immediately all the way down the lane. Nice penetration to the middle. Jalen Smith with a two on the board for DSST with a 4-2 lead. Probing down low off the dribble, Asia May. She tries to kick back. Ball knocked out of bounds. Buffaloes will maintain possession. Inbounds play, that'll be Montoya to kick it out. Looking around and finally takes it all the way back up top to set up with Kristen Grandin and all the way around. Three point shot from the outside. Back of the rim, no good. Comes on a long rebound. Battle for the ball on the floor. Diving for it, a host of players. Eventually, Kristen Grandin gets a hold of it. Possession, back over to the Buffaloes and then a drive down low. The layup good. That's Asia May with a two on the board for the Buffaloes to even things up early on in the first quarter. Now we'll settle down just a little bit. 
up top. Bradley Carden looking around. Gets it back to Jalen Smith. Recollects, resets. Little pressure on her backside, gets away from it, tries the ditch to the interior, walk back down on the floor. Bradley Cotton dives for it, as does Kristen Grandin, who's already early on shown she's a hustle player for Coach Ellie Kempf and the Bishop Matchbus Buffaloes. That'll be a turnover technically, and so you'll see the Buffaloes bringing it up with Diana Montoya. Ball out of bounds. Buffaloes keep the ball near side. Asia May tossing it in. And again to Montoya, the go-to girl, setting up the offense for those Buffaloes. To the outside, open shot for a three, no good. She comes to the inside, and a banker off the glass. Kristen Grandin rewards herself for that early on hustle. And a lead now for Bishop Matchbuff. Bradley Cotton, interior pass. Out of bounds, good defense, backside. Lucy Rogers forces the turnover. It'll be Buffalo's ball. Montoya met at the timeline. London Holland checking her off the dribble. Oh, high screen, strong by Grandin. And eventually back up top, you see dribbling around, Asia May. Finds the deep corner, three-point shot released off the back of the rim. Good rebounding position from Bradley Cotton. Here comes DSST. Down in the corner, no trap. Sierra Lewis in a little bit of trouble. Gets it out, dangerous pass along the out-of-bounds line. But eventually back up top to Jalen Smith. Now she's going to work off the drive, tries the spin. She's picked by Diana Montoya, another turnover created by strong Bishop match buff defense. Montoya bailed out in the backcourt by Rebecca Howell. That's Asia May on the drive. She's gonna use the glass a little too strong over the top and the rebound for DSST, London Holland. And now on the drive pushing the tempo, Jalen Smith, she's gonna take that shot from the outside off to the far side and the rebound for Asia May. All the way down the court, she's got a flyer. That's a block by Jalen Smith using her hops and we're gonna go back the other way. So far it's the Knights. And then making a smart move. That's a freshman point guard, Jalen Smith, making the decision to pull back. The numbers weren't right. Bradley Cotton working with the dribble, back up to set up with Jalen Smith. She'll take her time. Bradley Cotton's way up high. Now she's gonna move back down No, You'll see her shimmy. Down into a low post position. They get the inlet pass, she makes her turn. Excellent job, uses her body, good positioning. Makes the turn, and she's got four points in this ball game for DSST as we're even up at 6-6. Little bit of trouble on that far side. Strong defense, London Holland. As some reserves start checking in for Bishop Matchbuff, Heidi Grandin. A sophomore now on the floor wearing number 21. Knights still have their starting five on the floor. And that is Jalen Smith bringing it up once again. She likes to beat the first player and then move on through. Spin move and then an opportunity from the baseline there. 15 foot shot, no good and the ball bounces to the out of bounds. DSST will retain that possession. Three thirty-seven left to go in the first quarter early on, game five. 3A state tournament on Chassa TV. Bradley Cotton makes the turn, uses the left. Too strong, back of the rim, and out. We're going to see that matchup. Underneath the basket, battling for rebounds. Bradley Cotton in the black, along with Rebecca Howell. Two strong rebounders. This time, Rebecca Howell draws the foul, and... So you see the Buffaloes bring the ball up the floor and as you will often see, Diana Montoya bringing it up. Met immediately, she makes the drive, gets the scoop shot up in the air, eventually gets out. Montoya stops, picks up her dribble, heard a whistle and no foul ball or foot must have touched the out of bounds line and so it'll be a Knights possession here. Now you start to see 
Buffalo's defense coming up a little bit early. No problem whatsoever until Jalen Smith meets up with Rebecca Howe. Ran into a wall. Fortunately for the Knights, they keep possession. Too many steps on the drive there through the middle. That'll be a turnover. And once again, here comes Diana Montoya, the senior point guard for Bishop Matchbuff. Working it around way up high, that's Rebecca Howell. She's going to move back down after the pass. Over to the far side, Asia May. Working with that left-hand dribble, see if she wanted to set up for the three-point play. Good defense there on part of the Knights. Asia May now going baseline drive all the way across. Open shot from the baseline near side, and that's true. Pretty shot, she just stepped in. Heidi Grandin gets a two. And an 8-6 lead with 2.20 left in the first quarter for the Bishop Matchbuff Buffaloes. Jalen Smith now up top, checking her waist. That was Dinah Montoya. We're over to the near side and back over to Jalen Smith. DSST rolling around. They get a baseline slot. Good position, except for out hustling her for the basketball is Heidi Grand and making some nice plays. Just checking in as a reserve about a minute ago. That's Heidi with the basketball. Inlet pass, good instincts defensively. Sierra Lewis knocked the ball away from Rebecca Howell, and we've got a whistle. Body language indicating. Buffaloes will keep possession of the basketball. Montoya tossing it in near side underneath her own bucket. Way up top calling for it. That's Grandin. Gets tripped up a little bit. Eventually gets it over to Lucy Rogers. Excuse me, Asia May. Now it's Montoya from open and shop. Too strong. Bradley Cotton uses her backside to create space for herself. That's another rebound for Bradley Cotton. Now there's sister Bailey Cotton who had the basketball near side and then the usual setup. Jalen Smith up top takes her time till everybody's in position. Bradley Cotton is right there at the free throw line with a high post. We've got a shot from the baseline about 15 feet. No good. Rebound for Bailey Cotton. Does a pretty fine job on herself standing 6-1. Bailey averaging 10 boards a game and she's going to end up at the free throw line after the whistle's blown. That'll be a shooting foul. A pair of shots at the line for Bailey Cotton. Mentioned earlier, the only loss this year for the Denver School of Science and Technology Knights was to their opponents on the floor right now. The Bishop Matchbuff Buffaloes, that was back on December 8th at the Stapleton campus. Bailey Cotton at the free throw line was not playing in that game. Obviously, DSST. They were able to recollect and move on to have a very fine season, finishing 23-1 Frontier League champs. So Bailey hits both at the line, even game 8-8 eight, eight, with 104 left in the first quarter as Asia May kicks it out over to the far side. Let's see that jump shot from Rebecca Howell. No good, too strong rebound from the point guard. Popped away from the strong defense and back down on the floor. We've got girls hustling for this basketball. Nice effort, ladies, and eventually ends up in the hands of the Buffaloes. That's Asia May once again. Montoya. Pass up top, London Holland battling for it, a reach, that'll be a foul against the Knights. Team foul number three, look at that backside set play. Coach Ellie Kemp had come over, walked halfway down the court along the near side here in front of the scorer's table to call that play, it was beautifully executed. And eventually the foul, so Rebecca Howell will stand at the line for a chance to get a couple of points on the board, regain the lead for the Buffaloes. Howell, front of the rim, rolls through with a nice follow through with the release. Gets that first one in. Bishop match buff, and now with the lead 9-8. Good for two, Rebecca Howell, her first two on the board. So a two-point lead, 33 and ticking as Jalen Smith sets up and takes it to the far side to London Holland. Back over to, to Bailey. Now right side dribble all the way under the bucket and a little bit in trouble. We've got another battle for the basketball down on the floor. 
That was Sierra Lewis for DSST. Hustling for the basketball and hitting the hardwood with Rebecca Howell. Knights will keep it. Bailey Cotton will throw it in. Inside cut. Pass with good gets to Sierra Lewis. Now another shot for Sierra. She uses the left back of the rim and bounces away. And another rebound. That's two or three rebounds for the point guard, Diana Montoya. And we got a foul call as Montoya will bring it up. Just a, a click under 12 seconds to play in the first quarter here with the Buffaloes. A two-point lead here in this grade eight tournament game, class 3A. Over to Howell, high post, back out for the three-point shot. The outside, no good from Asia May. Back down the floor, she's got a release now, a little bit too late off the backboard, no good. And that's how we'll end one quarter of play with the Buffaloes. Holding a two-point lead, it's Bishop Matchbuff, 10. Denver School of Science and Technology, 8. You're watching coverage of the 3A State Tournament on Chassa TV. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold! Your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real people. That's far. The Colorado High School Activities Association says thank you to these companies for supporting activities in your school. Back out on the floor for the second quarter. One nice thing is number 21 in the white with the green stripes, Heidi Grandin is out on the floor. She was uh, looking over to the bench defensive setup for the Buffaloes, having a, a little bit of a stomach problem or, or as if she got jabbed in the rib looking to her coach. She stayed on the floor, and now, now she's still out there as they checked in as we see DSST all the way down the floor. Way to handle herself on the run. That's Bradley Cotton. Now with six points in the game to even things up for DSST on the run to get things even here to begin the second quarter. <laughs> Quick answer, Rebecca Howell with her second field goal in the contest. And a two-point lead once again for the Buffaloes. Second quarter, 7.26 on the clock, 3A state tournament. Winner has the right to move on to the final four here at Moby Arena. Near side, baseline shot, that's true. Bailey Cotton has her first field goal of the game. Four overall after a couple of free throws, and we're even once again. Nice setup. Seems like we're going to have a nice tight contest the rest of the way. Three-point shot from the outside. Yeah, she's feeling all right. Heidi Grandin, the first three-point field goal of the game, and a 3 nothing lead, or a three-point lead for Bishop Matchbuff. And again, working what I was just saying, we're going to have a nice tight contest. That is the largest lead of the game so far early in the second quarter. 6.40, second quarter, DSST against Bishop Matchbuff. Shot to the interior, Bailey Cotton, no good. Eventually, she gets a chance to get the loose ball, but can't get a handle on it. Bounces off her knees and out of bounds, so Montoya will toss it in and reset. You can see number one on the floor, Dana Jenkins. She's a junior guard for Coach L.A. Kempf. A smaller lineup out on the court right now. It's almost a bobble possession and a turnover for the Buffaloes. They'll reset Diana Montoya. Senior will probably work along with, yeah, big girl down low. The upperclassmen taking care of business after a little bit of chaos. And now we got a five point lead for Bishop Matchbuff. Down low, go to your money girl, Bradley Cotton. And a foul called. Cotton will have a pair of free throws at the line. Bradley Cotton, 14 points, nine rebounds on the season. Nice, strong tandem along with Bailey Cotton. Their mother, Mary Cotton, is one of the assistants for Coach C.C. Brain. Good genetics in the Cotton family. Bradley hits the first. And... Both. 
That lead whittled down to three as Montoya brings it up and gets it over to Jenkins. Left side dribble over to Grandin. Inside pass. Bishop Matchbuff wants to get to inside and start to feature their big girl, 6'1", Rebecca Howell. She gets hacked and she'll get rewarded with a pair at the line for Bishop Matchbuff. 23-1 on the season, Metro League regular season champions. They did not win their Metro League district championship. They lost to Holy Family, 54-51. Holy Family shocked by Florence in this tournament in the Sweet 16. Florence earlier today bounced by Faith Christian. Faith Christian and Trinidad have already moved through, so there's two more spots to go for the final four. Those games will be played tomorrow. The final four will be tomorrow in the same gym. So after Rebecca Howell hits both her free throws, five-point lead once again for the Buffaloes. Largest lead of the game by far. Howell again, pivot move on that far side. Along the baseline, it's going to be reset back up top. Another rebound for Diana Montoya. She's got four or five in this game unofficially. Battling to the inside, Montoya keeps it alive once again. Outside shot from the left. Count it, that's good. Dana Jenkins with the three for Bishop Matchbuff. Now with an eight-point lead. And another turnover force down the floor. She's alone. Good defense in transition on the part of London Holland forcing the turnover. We're back the other way. Bailey Cotton, she's going to put one up off the backboard. That's no good. Bradley gets the rebound. Now a three from DSST. That's a miss to the far side. Another rebound for Montoya. Ellie Kemp wants to take a timeout with an eight-point lead. Coverage of the 3A State Tournament on Chassa TV brought to you in part by Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. They can handle your auto, home, and life insurance needs locally with qualified and knowledgeable agents throughout the state. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Marty Cesario with Ashton Dilka, TJ Almer, Brian Almer, and Logan Borgman helping out with stats. Calling the last four games on a set of eight. It's been a very long day. We've got a full schedule here at Moby Arena. But if you dig on the hoops, hey, this ain't a bad thing, right? Want to also get props and... Uh, and gratitude for a nice job done by Clark Johnson, who's from the Greeley area. Did a nice job calling those first four games. Again, first four were, were jockeying between boys and girls contests. The Faith boys and girls have moved through to the final four. Holy Families boys took care of Colorado Springs Christian. That's sort of an upset in terms of seeding. Holy Families, a seventh seed. Shock the 24-0 Colorado Springs Christian Lions. So holy family, those Tigers have moved through in the boys' bracket. So faith in the girls, and Trinidad stays undefeated. They have also moved through, and obviously these two squads would like to have an opportunity to play tomorrow here in Moby Gym. Buffalo's right now with an eight-point lead after the timeout for Coach Kemp. Must have wanted to reset or just didn't like the pace having that nice lead. Far side shot, I'm not sure that was a three. I think foot on the line, regardless. Rebound once again. Montoya must have like seven rebounds right now from the point position. There she is with the basketball. She's going to settle things down and just push it across. Ellie Kemp wants to take her time. We're going to work the ball around. Eventually gets to Lucy Rogers and she gets slapped on the wrist. Montoya now called over to Coach Kemp to have a, a brief discussion. Senior with her coach for a Pretty good program in Bishop Matchbub. Last year they went 19-8. and eight, uh, Had a grade 8 loss in this gym to Jefferson Academy, but they've won six titles overall as Lucy Rogers hits the first of two. Those six titles uh, most recently with 2007. Also in this millennium, they won a title in 2003 and then four cha championships within the 80s. So now a 10-point lead for Bishop Matchbuff. As you see, the release from the outside from London Holland, no good. 
Montoya pushes it a little bit, streaking across the arc there. That was Rebecca Howell. And patience, why not for the Buffaloes? Until the three-point shot from the outside, no good by Heidi Grandin. And again, long rebound goes to the Buffaloes. Offensive rebounds, clearly a key for the Buffaloes, which is why they're at it, or at least part of what tells the story and brings us to this score, 24-14, with 3.17 left in the second quarter. Buffaloes with the double-digit lead, and now they've got Lucy Rogers, who will again go to the line. Previous possession, Lucy at the stripe, hit both her shots to create this 10-point spread. Lucy's a lefty, misses the first. Bailey Cotton after the rebound will bring it up herself. Cotton over to London Holland. They're trying to go to the inside. See that tap and eventually forced turnover by Diana Montoya having a really strong first half. Inside pass from Asia May into Rebecca Howell. That's tapped out of bounds. So defensively, DSST. Not shaken mentally, they're hustling. Lucy Rogers underneath. After she misses that free throw, gets mad, gets the basketball, calls for it, puts it in. And a 12 point spread as Bailey Cotton's on the drive. She gets bumped around the hips and that'll be an and one situation for Bailey Cotton. That'll stop a 9-0 run for Bishop Matchbuff. Bradley, or excuse me, Bailey Cotton on the drive. She gets fouled and tries to convert and misses the shot. Bailey Cotton now with four points in the game. Here comes Montoya. 2.36 on the clock, second quarter. 10-point lead, Buffaloes. Bishop Matchbuff with the white jerseys. They have the basketball right now as Asia May works it back up top to her point guard and then over. Nice ball movement on part of the Buffaloes. Moving down to the interior, Rebecca Howell misses a first shot, but then gets a, another offensive rebound once again. And then an open shot for Lucy Rogers. She gets the roll and hits it. Lucy Rogers has suddenly erupted in terms of scoring productivity. Six points in the last couple of minutes. And we got a 12-point lead once again for Bishop Matchbuff. CeCe Bray wants a timeout for her girls in black. Those Lady Knights from the Denver School of Science and Technology. Coverage of the 3A State Tournament you're watching here from Moby Arena on the campus of Colorado State University brought to you in part by the Bank of Colorado. You can enjoy the difference of a family-run bank deeply rooted in Colorado. They can make a difference in your life and community. They still believe in the personal banking relationships. Enjoy that. Bank of Colorado, distinctively different and distinctively Colorado, the way banking should be. Marty Cesario, with Ashton Dilka, TJ Almer, Brian Almer, and Logan Borgman bringing you this broadcast, produced in part by Play on Sports. And right here on Chassa TV, we've got a 12 point contest early on. Nobody could really get a foothold in terms of, of gaining an edge. No more than a two-point lead until we got into the second quarter. And that's when the Buffaloes of Bishop Matchbuff started getting a little bit of an edge, creating a gap. They jumped ahead 15-12 early on in that second period. Made it 17-12. A couple of free throws from DSST. And then a 9-0 run helped bring us to where we are right now. Bailey Cotton. Just recently hit a field goal for the girls in black who have the basketball right now. But then Lucy Rogers, who has scored six points recently, has put us in this position where we've got those Buffaloes in white with the green trim having a 12-point lead. That's Bailey Cotton, moves left side off the dribble, shakes the first player, and eventually fouled on the attempted shot. Didn't even get up in the air, but officials say she'll get rewarded with a couple of shots at the line. Bailey Cotton for those DSST Knights with a couple of campuses around the Denver metro area, a charter school with Denver public schools, and I'll correct myself, now referees decide no shots. So you see the Knights with the basketball. Far side, three-point shot from deep in the corner, no good. Thought maybe some nice positioning for rebounding opportunities for DSST, no good though. 
unlike the Buffaloes, who've just made a living so far in the first half, getting second and third chance opportunities. Thanks to strong offensive rebounding, DSST is now having a hard time getting that basketball when they miss. Inside pass, Rebecca Howell gets it, kicks back to the outside. Lucy Rogers finds it, but nice defense, and we'll give her credit for the block. Braid Bradley Cotton, real strong around the paint, denying the shot by Lucy Rogers. And that'll be a forced turnover. So here comes London Holland now running the point as Jalen Smith sits on the bench. Coach Brame trying some, some different roles and responsibilities. Jaliza Sudrath up top right now. She has checked in and she'll move to the far side and allow some space for Bailey Cotton to move around. That's Bradley with the basketball. Lucy Rogers in her face. Bradley's going to use that right-handed dribble. Eventually finds the spot she wants. Releases. And no good. Look at that forceful rebound on the part of Rebecca Hall. A little bit of trouble in the trap. Gets it away from Asia May. Now we got a far side drop. Way to work with the basketball, but also nice hustle on the part of Bailey Cotton getting back in transition. Because that was some excellent full court offense. We got to see from Bishop Matchbuff immediately after the rebound from Howell. Two passes down the floor, no dribbles. They were already underneath their own bucket, but Bailey Cotton doing a good job getting all the way down to knock it all the bounds. Here's the Buffaloes. Another trap set up deep in that corner. They get the ball out to Montoya eventually. There's Asia May up top, and now Howell. Trying to find that three-point shot underneath. That was Heidi Grandin, the sophomore, trying to make the baseline charge against Bradley. And she actually does draw the foul, so you'll see the sophomore get a couple of shots from the free throw line right now. So Heidi Grandin, who has hit the only shot from deep, the only three-pointer in this contest so far in the first half, now has six in the contest and a 13 point lead and it'll stay that way for Bishop Matchbuff as Bradley Cotton gets the basketball and she's just going to go ahead and take it up the floor herself. Looks up, three seconds left to go, takes a long deep shot, oh so close, just a little thin, not long enough, shot no good and that's the way we'll end the first half. So in the second quarter Bishop Matchbuff bursts ahead, a 9-0 run couple more buckets and they've got a 13 point lead the Buffaloes on top Bishop Matchbuff with a 13 point lead of over DSST you're watching coverage of the 3A state tournament on Chassa TV the Colorado High School Activities Association is made up of 340 high schools with 185,000 students participating in high school activities our members promote lifetime values to help reach and motivate students Chassa develops policies as a group, as a responsibility of membership. Chassa is coaches, game officials, and administrators voluntarily working for the common good of kids. Chassa is high school activities. The Colorado High School Activities Association says thank you to these companies for supporting activities in your school. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold, your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Yeah. Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. 
Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Adams State College. Great stories begin here. The schools taking part in today's event are part of the 340 member schools of the Colorado High School Activities Association. As members, we promote and protect the privilege of participation in interscholastic activities. We also promote lifetime values like respect, hard work, teamwork, and sporting behavior. We help reach and motivate students. We develop policies as a group as a responsibility of membership. We are coaches, game officials, and administrators working for the common good of kids. We are CHASA. He wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally. Like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank. And that's the way banking should be. know why I like high school activities? Because they're fun. You know what I don't like about high school sports? Too much pressure from parents. Seeking balance in high school activities is important. Parents need to support and encourage high school students and not set unrealistic expectations. Give the games back to us. Supposed to be fun! The Colorado High School Activities Association is made up of 340 high schools with 185,000 students participating in high school activities. Our members promote lifetime values to help reach and motivate students. CHASA develops policies as a group as a responsibility of membership. CHASA is coaches, game officials, and administrators voluntarily working for the common good of kids. CHASA is high school activities. The Colorado High School Activities Association says thank you to these companies for supporting activities in your school. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. You know, Farm Bureau Insurance has local agents making this kind of thing real easy. Well, your auto insurance has saved me a lot on old Becky here. That's great. And since our headquarters are local, we'll be here for old Becky for a long time. Harold, your dog swallowed the remote again. Who's that? Older Becky. Oh. Ugh. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Ah! Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. Be an actor, writer, or scientist. With small class sizes and caring faculty, your great story begins here. Adams State College offers state-of-the-art classrooms and an adventure program that rocks your world. Our affordable tuition and close campus community enriches the lives of a diversity of students. Helping you, inspiring you to be your very best. Adam State College. Great stories begin here. The schools taking part in today's event are part of the 340 member schools of the Colorado High School Activities Association. As members, we promote and protect the privilege of participation in interscholastic activities. We also promote lifetime values like respect, hard work, teamwork, and sporting behavior. We help reach and motivate students. We develop policies as a group as a responsibility of membership. We are coaches, game officials, and administrators working for the common good of kids. We are CHASA. 
he wasn't looking for a roommate, not even a four-legged one. But good things have a way of turning up. Wasn't long till they realized how much they relied on each other. There's power in a great relationship. That's why we take time to get to know each of our customers personally, like Henry and Chance. Those relationships are the strength of our community bank, and that's the way banking should be. Know why I like high school activities? Because they're fun. You know what I don't like about high school sports? Too much pressure from parents. Seeking balance in high school activities is important. Parents need to support and encourage high school students, and not set unrealistic expectations. Give the games back to us, and keep activities where they're supposed to be fun. The Colorado High School Activities Association is made up of 340 high schools with 185,000 students participating in high school activities. Our members promote lifetime values to help reach and motivate students. CHASA develops policies as a group as a responsibility of membership. CHASA is coaches, game officials, and administrators voluntarily working for the common good of kids. CHASA is high school activities. The Colorado High School Activities Association says thank you to these companies for supporting activities in your school. Thanks for meeting me. Halftime. During coverage of the 3A state tournament on Chassa TV, Marty Cesario here. 13 point lead for the Bishop Match Buff Buffaloes over the DSST. Knights checking some of the scoring uh, and then some of the stats that kind of stand out. Statistics brought over by Logan Borgman. Leading scores through two quarters of play for Bishop Matchbuff having the 13 point lead at 29-16. Rebecca Howell real strong down low with 10 points. Also seven rebounds and that's really kind of a key in this contest so far is the, the rebound is specifically offensive rebounding for the Buffaloes. A lot, offered a lot of second and third chance opportunities for those Buffaloes. And then I'll bring up Diana Montoya running the point. She's got a total of six points in the game right now but also Five offensive rebounds. Point guard just kind of knifing through there, hustling for the basketball. A total of six boards for the point. And right now, I'll correct myself, zero points but six rebounds. Real strong run in the offense, Diana Montoya. Lucy Rogers also has six. Bishop match buff with a total of 29 and a 13-point lead. Leading the way for the DSST Knights, who will have the basketball to start the contest, wearing the black jerseys. Black shorts, red and white trim, leading the way, as expected. Bradley Cotton, she's got six. So does her sister, Bailey Cotton, with six points. DSST shooting 25% in the first half. So it's got to start finding their shots if they want to have a chance and then work well on the defensive rebounding there. You see that shot from the outside, immediately left-handed release from Sierra Lewis, and that's no good, and here come the Buffaloes down the floor. Asia May shakes her person right side. Juke the player, got a nice shot, but boy, that recollection, it, the, the catch up, the close on the defense on the part of Bailey Cotton is real strong. Even though you get by her, she likes to almost bait the offensive player, and that time she does too. Getting a hand on the basketball. There's Bailey Cotton with another block to the outside as Montoya tries to get her first points in the game, driving baseline. Buffaloes will keep possession, again with a 13-point lead in game five of eight here at Moby Arena on the campus at Colorado State University. That's Montoya, pushes it to the inside. Lucy Rogers back out to Asia May. Again, almost an opportunity for an offensive rebound as Lucy Rogers hustles for it. Back to the other end of the floor. DSST with the outside shot. Rebecca Howell with another rebound. Mention once again, Rebecca Howell with seven rebounds in the first half. That'll be number eight for her. Having a great game, and that's 
really traditional output for her as you see the shot from Bishop Matbop. Another offensive rebound for Montoya. That's her six in the game, seven overall. Nice rebounds, hasn't scored, run the offense well, getting those rebounds. Seven boards for the point guard, Montoya. Working away to the inside. Off the dribble, real strong Jalen Smith now with her second field goal in the contest. So after a minute and 45 seconds expires here in the third quarter, it's DSST first to put the points on the board. Slim the lead to 11, drive by Asia May. Too strong off the backboard, and the Knights in black will have another possession bringing it up the floor. Jalen Smith just as we started this contest. Number 11, there she is. Working off the dribble. Careful. Didn't lift the foot. Holland back up to Smith. Standing ground all the way across. Left-handed shot, perhaps interrupted, intimidated a little bit by Lucy Rogers. Shooting. Still a problem for DSST. Sierra Lewis, a little dejected mentally with her hands on her head. She'll set up and and track Lucy Rogers right there. Lucy with the basketball. I post how back over to Asia Smith. Excuse me, Asia May. Montoya working off the high screen. She's got a nice open shot, a floater. No good, another offensive rebound, Montoya. But then a steal on the part of Bailey Cotton. Down to the floor, go get the basketball. And a whistle blown. It will be Knight's ball. 5.23 on the clock. DSST down 11. Nice effort on the part of Bailey Cotton, who's really been putting out that kind of effort throughout the first two and a half quarters in this contest. Shooting's an issue, defensive rebounding for DSST. That's really the two big stats of this, the game so far. Maybe they'll heat up now. There's a three and outside shot. London Holland with a deep ball to get DSST within eight points. First five scored by DSST, getting closer now as Rebecca Howell has it, looks around. Shot too strong, far side, Lucy Rogers, offensive board, have I said it? Montoya wants to go interior, good defense in the post, Bradley Cotton. Creates space, eventually gets it to Sister Bailey, and over for the setup, Jalen Smith. You can hear the chance of defense for the Bishop Matchbuff student body behind me at the scorer's table. Bailey Cotton drives, she gets a shot off over Howell, no good. Ball goes to Bradley, shot too strong. C.R. Lewis, I mentioned, reacting psychologically and non-verbally, showing a little bit of dejection, but that's her fighting for the basketball and actually will keep the possession so good work, Sierra Lewis, hustling for the ball. And see the set play interrupted by Lucy Rogers. Good defense. Another three to the outside. It's good for DSST. Once again, that's two in a row. London Holland for the Knights. So an 8-0 run to begin the game. And they've got the basketball once again. Down the court. Jalen Smith drives, gets a bucket. So now we've got a three-point contest. First 10 on the board to start the third quarter. Interior pass, that's a smart way to go. Go to your money, girl, Rebecca Howe, to stop the 10-0 roll. And Coach Ellie Kemp wants a timeout for the Bishop Matchup Buffaloes as they hear the roar of the crowd. The Knights faithful, real pleased the way their Knights have begun this third quarter. 3.40 left to go in the third quarter. The spread is now five, but again, first 10 on the board in the third by DSST, strong points, London Holland from the outside, two in a row, two possessions, two three-point shots. We were 29-16 at the half. Bishop Matchbuff, after that second quarter surge, had moved ahead by 13, but now DSST is getting back into it. Coverage of the 3A state tournament on Chassa TV, brought to you in part by Adams State College. They've Got help for working adults who can earn the bachelor's degree without interrupting home or work like. You can study online with Adams State Distance Learning. Convenient programs in more than 20 areas of study. Visit the website, adams.edu. That's adams.edu if you want more information. 
Marty Cesario. Grade eight, Moby Arena, Colorado State University. In the girls bracket, two are already through. Four squads want a chance to be involved in the final four, which will go down tomorrow. Faith Christian, undefeated Trinidad. They've already earned their berths in the final four. They will play each other tomorrow. On the bottom half of the state tournament bracket in class 3A. Well, this is the first one we're going to play. DSST, match buff. Buffaloes have a five-point lead. Buffaloes in white playing defense with the ball in black. That's DSST driving through. She does a good job kind of working away methodically with the basketball. To the outside, someone has found her shot. That's London Holland with eight early in this quarter. And a turnover created. It'll be Knight's ball, down three. How about the play of London Holland after the break? Two three-pointers, just hit the field goal. Defense. 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 Doing a great job scoring-wise to help bring DSST back in this ball game. Defense. Down the lane and the drive. Jalen Smith from the point and all the way through for a two. We've got a one-point contest. <laughs> Buffalo's in a little bit of trouble. Got to recollect. Will they send it back down to Howell? Yes, they will. The turn back out. Three-point shot, no good. Offensive rebound, Lucy Rogers disrupted by Bailey Cotton. Another chance, third opportunity for the Buffaloes. Comes back out and down. All the way to the other end of the floor, that's Bailey Cotton. Big strides, it rolls around, goes through. We've got the first lead for a long time for the DSST night. Folks in red and black across the way rooting on Denver School of Science and Technology. Real pleased with what's going on in this third quarter. After shooting 25% in the first half, finishing those first two quarters with a deficit of 13, the DSST Knights have outscored their opponents 14 to two to start the third quarter. We got two minutes left here in the third as the Buffalo set up wearing the white. Inside, Rogers. Back to Hall and then back to the outside. She has the three-point shot, but it's too strong this time. Montoya, will she get another offensive rebound? No. It'll bounce out of bounds. Good hustle, Sierra Lewis. Helping out. So now the Knights with that one-point lead will bring it up. That's Jalen Smith with the basketball. Zone setup. Looks like a 1-2-2. For the Buffaloes, inside Bradley Cotton to the outside. That's a mishap turnover all the way back down the other end. There's Asia May. She gets it in. Match buff regains the lead. Asia May, her first field goal in a while, streaking down the lane. Good recognition by her teammates that she could be on a flyer. 33-32. It's. The Buffaloes with the lead playing that zone defense now. That's okay, Jalen Smith will take her time. Try to work across with the dribble. She was working for that wraparound with the left hand to try to find Sierra Lewis cutting to the inside. Bumped with the hip and foul called. Two team fouls against Match Buff. None just to offer the reset for the Knights. As Bailey Cotton looks to Sister Bradley who's gonna work strong against Rebecca Howell. Howell holds her space, forces the missed shot. No rim, no net, and here comes Asia May. Buffaloes, one point lead, and we're under a minute, 45 seconds on the clock. Inside, Howell, left hand, doesn't get the give with the roll, rebound. London Holland, down the other end. Bailey Cotton, gonna work off the dribble. That was one on two, Cotton wants to take the shot, ball's on the floor, Howell and Bailey Cotton fight for it. Howell's got her game face on. I'll correct myself. That's Lucy Rogers battling for the basketball on her backside. DSST will retain possession. See the stack set up on the inbounds play. It'll be Bailey Cotton who will eventually toss the ball in. Here we go. 
Down one the Knights. Bradley Cotton looked for the shot over the top. Yes, she gets a nice pass from Sister. Ooh, a cut to the inside. No good, though. Partially rejected by Rebecca Hall. Foul called as Diana Montoya tries to bring it up the floor. And that will be the first team foul called against Bishop Matchbuck. First time on the floor, Alexa Tina, a senior, will check in, 22. And now they reset, it'll actually be Knight's ball. The foul goes against Bishop Matchbuff. So I'll correct myself, as the refs do so. All that matters is they get it right. Third team foul against Bishop Matchbuff. Jalen Lynn gonna work off the dribble once again. The reach around attempt, that's a turnover created by Diana Montoya on the backside, and here come the Buffaloes. Careful with Dana Jenkins. She'll like to use the long shot with the left. A lot of spin, she hits the deck just before the end of the third quarter, no good. But the Buffaloes get out of it with a lead after the huge surge in the part of the Knights. Score after the end of three. One quarter to play. Bishop match buff. One point lead, 33-32. You're watching coverage of the 3A state basketball tournament on Chassa TV. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. We got you down for that. And a multi-line discount. That too. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. Yeah. Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Awkward. Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. The 3A State Tournament. Girls Hoops. Here on Chassa TV, produced in part by Play on Sports, Marty Cesario. Calling the game for you with the technical help of Ashton Dilka, TJ Almer, Brian Almer, Logan Borgman with statistics. What an exciting third quarter, especially if you're a Knights basketball fan. DSST down 13 at the half. Scored the first 10 points of the third quarter, eventually became a strong 14 to 2 run for those Knights in black. Bishop Matchbuff holds out, gets a couple of buckets and get a one point lead as Montoya drives for those Buffaloes wearing the white jerseys and the green trim. Bread and butter inside, outside game. Howell out to Asia May, offensive rebound which was a real big part of that story in the first half. Dana Jenkins get involved. Got a critical three-pointer during the second quarter run where the Buffaloes ran off nine in a row to jump ahead by 12. Eventually became a 29-16 lead, as I said, at the halftime break. Jenkins with a three-pointer in the contest. Offensive rebound, as you saw in that possession. Huge knee brace on that right knee. Misses the first, gets the second. And a two-point lead for Bishop Matchbuff. Winner moves on to the Final Four at Moby Arena on this court tomorrow in the 3A State Tournament here in the state of Colorado. Two-point lead. Bishop Matchbuck playing defense. Rotating zone. Steal, Asia May. She created the turnover, and now she is down on the other end. Coming back to make a play on the basketball was Jalen Smith. Nice hustle, but that's a foul called. So Asia May will get a chance to... Get a couple at the line. Second team foul called against the Knights. Nobody in trouble here in the fourth quarter. We're going to be fine. 7-14 on the clock. May, first shot, no good. Checking in Jaliza Sudreth. Play one of those guard positions for Coach CeCe Brame and the DSST Knights. Here comes the second shot from Asia May. No good. Good body position on the part of Bradley Cotton. Bradley brings it up herself eventually. Gives over to Sister Bailey. 
going to work off the dribbler. Said, was that ball tipped? I don't know. Good defense. We'll call for Dana Jenkins. Now the trap applied, and CeCe Brame doesn't like the way her offense started out that possession. She's going to call timeout for Denver School of Science and Technology. 3A State Tournament here on Chassa TV, brought to you in part by the Colorado Preps Network, where you get in-depth coverage of every state tournament game in every class. It can be found at coloradopreps.com. Quick results, updated brackets, you can get them right there at coloradopreps.com. Join them for a full recap of state tournament each night from 9 till 10 p.m. on the scoreboard show on the Colorado Preps Radio Network. We've got seven minutes to play, 6.58 specifically. Final quarter of this fifth game, fifth of eight. We're doing it all day. Whole lot of hoops here at Moby Gym at Colorado State University. Bishop Matchbuff, a two-seeded, 23-1 against the 23-1 DSST Knights, a seven-seed. Knights in black down to Bailey Cotton. Tries to work it around off the dribble. Looks like a bump to the quad, and that'll be a foul. 14 Paul against Bishop Matchbuff. Shooting foul. Two at the line for Bailey Cotton, who's been real strong, especially in the second half. Like the effort on the part of Bailey Cotton, many a times. She had someone beat her off the dribble, and sometimes I think she's baiting the dribbler. And then just close to disrupt the shot. Also done a great job when, when Matchbuff on the few times they've, they've wanted to push the ball down the floor. Done a great job getting all the way down on the other end. So Bailey hits one, one point spread. It's these girls with the basketball. The Buffaloes have the lead down low to, to Howell. Round ball ends up on the floor and a whole bunch of girls gonna hit it. Wait for the official to make a determination. It'll be the girls in black. Those Knights will have the basketball. Down one, 6.38 on the clock. A berth to the final four on the line. For DSST, this is their first ever state tournament appearance. Turnover force, there's Montoya with the basketball. She's gonna wheel it around to Dana Jenkins. Careful with the dribble. You hear the groans of the crowd. No call. Alexa Tina in a little bit of trouble. Reset up top. May works it around to Montoya. Probes with the dribble. May not going to take that long shot. No, she's going to get right through. And the little sweet, soft touch over the front of the rim. And a three-point lead for Bishop Matchbuff. Outside shot, that's a two for Bailey Cotton, who now has 12 in the contest. One point game, how out to Asia May. She's shown us that she can hit that three, but then things are going well. Oh, look at that slap, reject to the outside, get the basketball, Bailey Cotton down the other end. Sierra Lewis a little out of control, but it'll stay Knights basketball until the steal from Rebecca Howe. A little bit of confusion for some of the girls, but eventually the Buffaloes recollect. Montoya pushes, gets it back to Dana Jenkins. Ball tapped, it's not going to be a travel. No, that's a foul against the Knights. Side out, near side. The bottom of your screen, where you can see Coach Ellie Kemp working alongside her senior point guard. Little whispers. Waiting for substitutions, first time on the floor. Lily Anderson, a sophomore out there as Sierra Lewis will take a seat. So Lily Anderson, number one, gonna work against Lucy Rogers. Again, player to player matchup coverage defensively for the Knights. See if that outside shot, no, anticipating the, the interior bounce pass. That was a good job on the part of Jalen Smith. Turnover, here come the Knights. Working with the left, that's Jalen Smith off the dribble. She likes to probe, a little bit of penetration, working with the basketball. Foul called reaction, Buffaloes. We'll pause to hear the atmosphere. That's cool spirit, right? Backing up your girls, like the call. Regardless, you know the deal. 
The verdict made, and that'll hold true. Shots at the line, Jalen Smith misses the first. After the timeout called by C.C. Brame, a struggle to get points for both squads as eventually Jalen Smith hits that second shot. Seven in the game for Jalen Smith. Here comes a, a soft press across the timeline. All Black Knights gonna, gonna meet the basketball. Buffaloes get through. Howell with the shot. Couldn't decide backboard or go for the swish. No good, and back down the other end. Knights find a streaker across the lane. She misses the shots. Too strong with the scoop. Bradley Cotton gets the rebound, but Lucy Rogers gets her hands on the basketball. Arrow possession in favor of the Buffaloes, so it will be the ladies in white. We'll bring it back up the other end. So, yes, a struggle for points after that CC Brame timeout for DSST recently. A lot of turnovers created by good defense. Back to the inside to Rogers this time. She elects to kick it outside. Here comes the three. Little short. Nobody touched it. Out of bounds. Knights basketball. Thirty-six, thirty-six, four seventeen and counting on the clock. Each squad looking for a final four berth. Faith Christian, Trinidad already through. Two more get slots. One of them will earn it in the next four or so minutes. Down low, Bradley Cotton. They haven't gone there in a while. Bradley Cotton with eight points in the game, all in the first half. Two at the line for 5-0 for those DSST Knights. Release, good. Sierra Lewis, brief break, checks back in for Lily Anderson. Bradley Cotton, second shot, here it comes. Solid. Bradley Cotton hits two, Knights have the lead, four to go. Buffalo's basketball, on the run Asia May. Good defense, Bailey Cotton. Asia had been having some luck off the drill, but not this time. Bailey Cotton with good defense, and there's what happens. Asia May finds a little spot. Asia gonna work off the dribble. Again, another block for Bailey Cotton. Inside, Montoya gets the ball off. Who's gonna get the basketball? Montoya with another offensive rebound. That's at least eight in the game for the point guard. No, I'm not stuttering. The point guard. Another block. Bailey Cotton. Bradley gets the basketball. Junior Bradley. Bailey Cotton, excuse me, has stepped up her defense. Is just swatting, rejecting, denying attempts if it gets anywhere near that rim. Two-point lead. DSST. We approach three minutes left. Outside shot. That's no good. It's going to go all the way. I believe Jalen Smith thought perhaps it was tipped. Barking to her teammates not to touch the basketball. Those instincts incorrect. As you see, Diana Montoya bringing it up, and now Dana Jenkins with the basketball using the left. Inside, Rebecca Howell. Back to the outside with Jenkins on the drive now. Foul committed down low. That'll be shots at the line for Dana Jenkins. Wearing that knee brace that reminds me of watching Mark Schlereth play offensive line. Good for you, Dana. Fighting through it. She's obviously had some knee work and just battling through the, the junior. Do anything you can, right, to have an opportunity to be in this situation. Dana misses both, and Bailey Cotton with the rebound. Jalen Smith looks up. Nobody there. Now she's going to take her time. Ooh, careful little stumble across the half-court line. Here comes Montoya for the one-on-one. -on -one. Montoya forcing the turnover. Battle for the basketball. Eventually it gets out in the hands of Dana Jenkins. Here come the Buffaloes. The three hoisted. 
No good. Who's going to go get it? Bailey Cotton eventually does. Girls getting up off the floor. A pause, Jalen Smith near side at the scores table. Perhaps a, a finger to the eyeball. She's going to stay on the floor. Buffalo's in the meantime trying to get set up. Asia May wants the basketball, but referee's kind of holding things up. Last five put on the board by DSST. It hasn't been fancy. I think that's fair to say. Three free throws. Correct myself. All four points recently coming via the free throw line as another one gets put up and in by Bailey Cotton who now has 13 in the contest. A little confusion after the scrum for the basketball on the floor. Remember, Montoya knocked the ball out of Jalen Smith's hands. A whole bunch of girls battling for it. And then you had the foul called. It was middle of the floor. So the assumption would be, right, that it would be a non-shooting situation. As I check the scoreboard, team foul seven for Bishop Matchbuff. That's why we have the one and one. Bailey Cotton hits the first, so she'll get another. And she hits it, four-point lead, DSST. 2.05 to play here in the fourth. They're going to go back to their money post player. And one! Count the bucket. Rebecca Howell, leading scorer, senior. It's that time. Give her the basketball. She's going to battle, gets it up, banks it, goes in. She's going to get another and a chance to get within one for her Buffaloes. Two-point lead, DSST Howell misses that second. Bradley Cotton jumps out to get the basketball. Knights with the two-point spread. Here comes Montoya. Now she's going to back off. Player-to-player player matchups. Trap applied. Almost the turnover. Ball on the floor. Jump ball situation. Arrow favors DSST. A timeout called by CC Brame and her staff for the Denver School of Science and Technology. Full timeout. 40-38. DSST with the lead as we have minute 38 to play. Winner and a chance to Move on to the final four. You are watching coverage of the 3A state tournament on Chiasa TV, brought to you in part by Bank of Colorado. Enjoy the difference of a family-run bank deeply rooted in Colorado. They can make a difference in your life and community. They still believe in personal banking relationships. It's Bank of Colorado, distinctively different, distinctively Colorado, the way banking should be. This is the way a hoops run should be. Deep into the tournament in Class 3A. That third quarter surge. First 10 on the board for DSST after being down 13 at the halftime break. First 10 on the board for DSST eventually became a 14-2 run for the Knights. To jump ahead 32-31. Whole lot of free throws and good defense specifically by Bailey Cotton who's got the basketball right now. Has the Knights up by two. One Knights in black with the basketball, two-point lead. They're going to use patience. Coach Ellie Kemp all the way to the middle of the floor. She's almost at the half-court line. Most likely calling for the foul, realizing that the clock's running, and you saw the, the implication on the part of the Knights' offense. They're going to hold that basketball unless something happens. Somebody forces the issue. Foul called, one and one, Bailey Cotton. Stroking it through. 15 in the game for Bailey Cotton. 
And another. Kissed off the front of the rim. Buffalo is down for Asia May bringing it up. She's going to work off the dribble, kick it all the way outside for the three-point shot. Hoist it away. No good. A little short fight for the basketball. Eventually, Jalen Smith gets it and down all the way to the other side. London Holland on the run. And the layup is good for London Holland. And a five-point lead for DSST. Whistle blown, foul called. Boy, poor Diana Montoya. Perhaps took a knee to the quadricep, limping. No shots. The senior floor leader for Coach Ellie Kemp. She's not leaving. It's not even a question. One-legged effort, if it has to be, for Diana Montoya. Timeout for Coach C.C. Brame with a six-point lead. What a way to finish. Under 50 to play in the fourth quarter. 44-38, Denver School of Science and Technology. A charter school program south of the old Stapleton Airport area. Last year went 18 and 5, won their league, the Frontier League, collected their first ever state tournament appearance and first ever wins in the postseason. This year, 23 and 1, Frontier League champions on a 22 game win streak. Their only loss to the other set of girls on the floor, Bishop Matchbook, back in December 8th on the Stapleton campus. Bailey Cotton was not playing. You can see that probably makes a difference, right? Based on the way Bailey have played. But the Knights. Part of that three third quarter surge have moved ahead. They're up six as the three-point shot attempted. No good. And the whistle blown. Knights ball. Full court press applied by the Buffaloes. Can Bailey Cotton get it in? Yes, she does. London Holland has it. She's fouled by Montoya. We're going to go like this the rest of the way. That'll be five on Diana Montoya, as indicated by T.J. Almer, helping out with technical production. Big round of applause. I'll help out, too. Huge effort for Diana Montoya. Didn't put points on the board. Let her offense. So many offensive rebounds. Great defense. We're at the situation where you got to foul somebody to force this issue. That's exactly the way you want it to play it off your Buffaloes. So Montoya on the bench. Jenkins going to bring it up. Buffaloes down five. Outside shot rejected by Jalen Smith. Another one comes from Dana Jenkins. That's a three. It's true. Buffaloes within three. Dana Jenkins feeling it. That's her second three of the game. Coach Ellie Kemp will call a timeout. Full timeout called by Ellie Kemp. Thanks a lot to the Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance for helping bring this coverage, help support this opportunity for you to watch these tournament basketball games broadcasted live from Moby Arena here on the campus of Colorado State University. Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance can handle your auto, home, and life insurance needs locally with qualified and knowledgeable agents throughout the state. Real service, real people. Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. And if you're not enjoying it, you're just having a bad day. Because this is fun. This is the way it should be. Grade 8, 3A Colorado High School Girls Basketball State Tournament. DSST, the Denver School of Science and Technology, a seven seed with a three-point lead on the Bishop Matchbuff Buffaloes, DSST inbounds. Full court press applied once again. Bailey Cotton's got the basketball. She gets fouled by Jenkins. As Jenkins walks towards her coach, I wondered if perhaps Dana Jenkins felt she picked up her fifth. Not the case. Dana Jenkins back out on the floor, just getting some more instruction from her coach. Bailey Cotton, who's been solid from the free throw line. I set her up, no broadcaster jinx. She sticks it. And last minute or so, five in a row now at the line. 
for Bailey Cotton, who has been gigantic here in the second half for the DSST Knights. Not even shaken by the broadcaster's hype. Six in a row at the line for Bailey Cotton. Five-point lead, DSST. Outside shot, there it is from behind the arc. Rebound for Rebecca Howell, and a timeout called by Bishop Matchbuck. So Howell hits the two quite recently, obviously, because Bishop Matchbuck looking to pick up big points fast with the outside shot. But the offensive rebound, so good to Bishop Matchbuck early on in the game, specifically the first half. Howell gets it. Puts it back up and good within three, so a one possession game. Easy math, right? Especially for these two sets of girls. They're both from quality educational programs, too. A lot of great student athletes on the floor right now. Athletics on top of mind right now. Three point lead for DSST. Howell hits the two. You see the defensive setup, it'll be full court. London Holland will attempt to find a girl in a black jersey. And then you would assume the foul will be coming. There it is. Gets to Jalen Smith. Heidi Grandin applies the foul. Both Grandin sisters out on the floor. It's Heidi who chases down Jalen Smith. Smith will be at the line. We're in a double bonus situation, so a pair of shots for Jalen Smith with 11 seconds to go and a three-point lead. Jalen, first one through. Eight points in the game for Jalen Smith, primary ball handler for DSST. Misses the second, and a foul called. Correction, that will not be a foul. Thought maybe Bailey Cotton got a piece of Rebecca Howell. DSST also applying the press, and here comes Dana Jenkins with the basketball. Four-point deficit. Bishop Matchbuff under six to play. There goes the ball. Bailey Cotton with the rebound. She's going to run it out. Buffaloes will concede, and the Denver School of Science and Technology Knights have come out victorious. A seeding upset, if you will. The number seven seeded Knights with a 47-43 lead. Not only a, a chance to move on to the final four, which they will. They will play the winner of third seed Eaton and sixth seed Bayfield, which will be coming up later on on Chassa TV. But retribution to DSST, their only loss to Bishop Matchbuff, 52-39 handily back in December 8th. Well, they got them this time. The girls in black from DSST, the Knights with the win. Final score, 47 to 43. Marty Cesario along with Ashton Dilka, TJ Almer, Brian Almer, and Logan Borgman. Thank you so much for joining us for Grade 8 Basketball, coverage of the 3A State Tournament on Chassa TV.